Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And yes, because as I mentioned in my vlog this morning, it is spring break. I'm able to record during the day, so I'm a little more loud, a little peppier, and well, you know, I think that's kind of good because did somebody call the fire department? Because here comes Inferno, and he is part of the Kingdom line. So, of course, there are some people complaining that we're getting this Inferno and not the Fire Ant from Beast Wars. Uh, voiced by Jim Byrne, if I am not mistaken, uh, who some of you might remember from Highlander, the series. Uh, really great show. Uh, I think it's even on Peacock now, so yay. Something else to watch besides the WWE Network. But anyway, here it is. Uh, we're starting off in its Fire Engine mode. Now, of course, as you all know, um, Inferno is a repaint retool of uh, Grapple. And one of the things they did retool, is, of, besides the ladder here, is those connecting pegs in the back. Now, Grapple is unfortunately packed away, and I'll be very honest with you. If this was the first review of the figure, I would have pulled Grapple out to do comparisons. But since it's not, I'm not that worried about it. That's number one. Number two, if you remember that review and the a follow like a follow up vlog or something, I kind of didn't shave the pegs right. I shaved around when I around the peg when I should have shaved the peg flat. Well, when we get into the transformation here, you'll see that they did change the pegs, and it's a much better connection. But overall, I think I like Inferno a little bit more than Grapple. You have a lot more going on. Um, you do have this new piece right here, which is its little water nozzle. You do, of course, also have a blast effect port right there. And if I think, if I'm not mistaken, can you? No, unfortunately, you can't uh, uh, peg it on there. But there's other pegs here. You also have these new hose attachments, which are just 5 millimeter pegs. They just go right in there. So... That's really nice to have. I would have liked it if they included a like a half size hose or something, because I think Inferno did use it in the cartoon once, and it did come with the masterpiece version of the figure. Other than that, um, still includes the uh, nozzle attachment piece, and keep in mind the hoses. This uh, nozzle here, nozzle uh, the nozzle here, and his blaster are all packaged. Um, they're um, tied to the side of the tray. And I want to talk about the packaging for a minute because I kind of noticed that um, it's basically only showing the figure from the waist up, which kind of makes it difficult to see, make sure that um, from the waist down, everything is fine. And it's also kind of hard to see the accessories from the packaging. Now, I understand this is Hasbro's new um, eco-friendly look. And to be honest with you, I don't see how it is because number one, you're using these plastic ties, and number two, it's kind of a little harder to get the figure out of the packaging. So I do end up foreseeing that a lot of these uh, uh, figures are going to get damaged just by people trying to get them out of the packaging. Speaking of which, here's another little blast effect port, but what's nice is this is like right where the controls would be to do the ladder, which by the way does extend. I don't know if it goes out further than that, goes in more, but it's nice that it's there. So, yep, and of course, it does roll. My surface doesn't have, it's very smooth, so the wheels don't have anything to really grip, but you do see them spinning. So yeah, other than that, not much more to say. So we'll pause and get into the transformation. Okay, so I adjusted the camera, gave us a little more space. First thing you wanna do is just come in Remove the uh, blaster, remove this little hose piece, and yes, actually, I do believe the hose piece, yes, does peg into the side of the blaster if you don't want it there at the front. So you got a lot of, like, nifty little weapon combinations with this mold. Um, you can leave the nozzle here on if you so desire, but we'll just take it off. Now, the instructions will also show taking off the hoses, but those you can definitely leave on. So just go in collapse the ladder just like that and then now we're just going to uh start unpegging things you want to unpeg here from the legs 
that will uh, free up that section. You want to bring up the front section here, and it's unpeg the arms from the legs there. And you're going to go ahead and just bring this cap all the way forward. It will friction the place, unpeg the arms, peg them into the shoulders, uh, into the side of the, the, the truck cab there, bring them down. And if you want, go ahead and rotate it the four, at the forearm so the elbows are facing forward. Now, to continue with the transformation, you want to come up here and uh, bring this section all the way up. It's going to peg into place right there, collapse it down like that, and then bring it up again. But before you do, bring the ladder all the way around and... You want to, and it's a little stiff here, rotate that down just like so. We're going to work more with the ladder and then bring the head, the little panel here with the head all the way around. And then this will just kind of, you want to slide it in right to the top. And that will close up all the panels there in the back. Bring that panel down. Um... We're not, we're not done yet, so got that, got that. And then with the feet, and before we get to the feet, right there is what I was talking about, the new pegs. You notice how it's a tapered peg. Here, I'm going to turn the figure upside down. It's shorter, and you have that little lip there, so you can't shove it all the way in. The old peg was longer and didn't have that lip, so that really does make a difference. And the feet go up like that. So thus far, basically the transformation has been the same as grapple. Uh, stand the figure up, you know, position it. Um, next step is to come in, unpeg these his uh, little um, ear panels, head panels, the crest, the crest. Just like so. Let that straight. Oh, and you can straighten out the uh, ladder there. It was looking a little crooked. I thought something broke. But nope, just like that. It's all nice and dandy. Come in. Eh. Flip out the hand on this side. Of course, you can flip out the hand on that side. But historically, that's where uh, Inferno has kept his little nozzle piece. And like with Grapple, you can't plug the gun in. That would have been way too cool. But just like that, let's take this nozzle piece and that will play peg in directly on the side of the head you can angle it how you see fit now with the gun by the way you do have if you did want to for weapon storage keep the gun back over there but we'll just put it in the hand right now nice update to that classic blaster that both inferno and grapple used and there you go um joints are tight I do like that little armpit joint right there, covering up the space. Uh, new head, like grapple, it swivels. Not much of a ball joint, but hey, really nice uh, looking figure. And of course, you got that ankle pivot. So uh, perfect, but this would be a perfect uh, companion to the Siege um, Red Alert, which is now three years old. Uh, if you can go out and find it, or I'm sure it's you can get them uh, the repaints at a uh, Walmart, or a little birdie told me that coming closer to the holiday season of 2021, we're going to have a Earth mode red alert that's going to be exclusive to Walgreens. You know, rescue vehicle, Walgreens is a drugstore, yada yada. That will be a repaint of a supposed Earthrise Sideswipe. I'm sorry, you mean Earth Mode Sideswipe, part of the Kingdom line. So, yeah. But, like I said, I think I kind of like Inferno a bit more than Grapple. And if you ever know the history of this toy, the original G1 toy, the mold got stolen by a Chinese company. And the mold got turned into the star of its own little Chinese cartoon toy line. It, it's hysterical. I mean, there was no changes made. You just didn't have the Autobot or... Uh, yeah, I think it was actually around the right time of Transformers. So you didn't have the Autobot logo. But I just think it was so funny that that happened. But yeah, it's, it's really a cool figure. Um, now, one thing I wanted to do... So you figure with Grapple, you had the nozzle, the gun, and that claw. 
And looking at the plastic, I think between the two new hoses, the side fins here, and that nozzle, you do have the same amount of plastic. Now, of course, with the claw, you had that um, connection piece that you could recreate that scene from the G1 cartoon where Grapple is lifting up Hoist. And I, and I hope I've got those names right, because knowing my luck, I've been wrong this entire video. But, yep, yeah, other than that, just a great figure. Um, definitely a lot of blast effect ports and stuff like that. This is just a great mold. And, you know, I mentioned the Masterpiece figure. I actually, the only version of the Masterpiece of the mold I have is Artfire. And I never transformed it because I opened it up. You know, was fooling around with the Target Master. And Delilah, my cat back in the day... When she was still a little kitten, started playing with the box, so I put it away and kind of forgot about it. I kind of want to pull it out. It's on my one of those long list of things to do just to experience the mold. But getting to the point, it's you know, you know, the only real difference is that the masterpiece, and it is a larger figure, cleans up this whole back section. Uh, the, the latter section a little bit better. It's like a little bit of what they call the masterpiece magic. So yeah, I mean, if that really doesn't bother you, Inferno and Grapple are great stand-ins for their Masterpiece figures. And, almost forgot, according to the rumors I've heard, Generation Selects is going to give us a Artfire figure. So hopefully we'll be a Target Master and all that. And what I'm really hoping for is the Target Master will either be a new, t new uh, mold or... Will be somewhat retooled so we can do the Japanese style Target Master thing where the weapon pegs in to the wrist and not held by the character. So, yeah, definitely a um, great, great figure. So, you know, I've been gushing about it. So, why don't we just uh, stop here and then um, go to like my final thoughts, which I basically have already given you. So, we'll just get to the end of the video. Well, you've heard me gush enough about uh, Inferno. I'll just let you know that I got this from the command store, um, part of the uh, Wave 2 Voyagers. So I got Dinobot as well. Um, it has been showing up at brick and mortar retail. Other online retailers, I don't think, have gotten it yet. So I know um, you might have to wait a little bit. Amazon, of course, with all of Wave 2, they have it coming uh, later in May. But Apparently, their dates are not as stiff and rigid, so you might actually end up getting it sooner if you went in pre that pre-order route, which I actually did originally. But when Commander Store got it in, and I've been really just doing business with them more, I went and got it because I really like Inferno. So that's about it for the review. If you like this review, and I hope you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate the views, and I want to stress that, if there's, you do nothing more than just watch my video, that's good enough. But the liking, commenting, and subscribing helps to communicate to YouTube's algorithms, which have been acting up again lately, actually more like the last year and a half, um, and tells them that my channel is one that should be exalted and held upon high. And realistically, that actually does help in terms of the, the monetization and stuff. Um, lower, lower viewing videos, as long as they have like likes and comments, tend to perform better than higher viewed videos with less likes and comments. I know, strange, right? Um, but if you really want to make a support to the channel, do consider joining my Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All I ask for is a dollar a month, $12 a year, and you're helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like this to you. Now, normally I would say there's a card here in the corner, but YouTube just recently updated their... Um, video loading software and there's something up with the cars that I haven't been able to figure out and I'm sure I don't have to tell you that it's very hard to ask questions and get answers so for the time being the only way to get to the video uh, to get to my patreon is a link in the description below or manually entering the link in your browser www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999 and as always if you can't do the dollar a month or twelve dollars a year 
just watching my videos is thanks enough. So that's about it for Inferno. We will see you next time.